Well, Brad, that was uh, certainly a game of two halves. In the first half, we looked very confident. We attacked with purpose. In the second half, complete opposite. What was your thoughts on, on the on the game and, and and that point? Yeah, I, I, I'm absolutely gobsmacked by that second half performance. Um, we looked like we had a bungee rope tied to all of my defenders and midfield players and we thought we was going to see 47, 48, 50 minutes out for right from the second half kickoff being 1-0 up and then I just I just didn't get it. Um, I've, let, I've let them know where I'm coming from and, and understood where I thought we was poor. Um, the energy from the guys in the second half was it seemed to get worse as the game went on and, and even when they went down to 10 men and they hold the ball up, balled up, sorry, for eight minutes and we only play 97 minutes when there's a sending off as well. So I, I didn't understand what the ref and then he had to restart the game really, but I thought there was at least 12, 13 minutes that should have been played, if you want my honest opinion, and we're attacking with 10 men and the game still finished earlier with 98 minutes and 13 seconds. So I, I really don't, I don't understand that, but... You know, going back to us, our second half performance, we we was passing backwards and people weren't showing. So it was very, very negative from our, our team. And um, I, I can't put my finger on it at this moment in time, but I will look at it tonight and analyse what's going on and who was doing what. So uh, we'll, we'll discuss that and we'll move forward. You'd expect a home team to come out all guns blazing in the second half. They got a crowd of over a thousand odd here today. They're coming off the back of their two defeats. They were really up for it second half. Is is it a case of they had a couple of early chances and then the defenders and the and the midfield just dropped off, trying to defend, defend the boxes too deeply and we just weren't able to get out. Uh, I don't know. I think we should have come in at two or three nil up and, and changed the line out. Yes, they're gonna. I think if we scored the second goal, then they're gone after losing two games three nil, three nil. So um, it's. I'm, I'm, I'm just disappointed with that. We spoke about that, about getting higher right from the start and really going at them and finishing where we left off at half-time. Um, we had to make some changes, obviously, because of the changing, uh, travelling, etc. And people were tired, a couple of knocks. But today today was really, really disappointing for us to see. Um, obviously, a few people started today, um, maybe because of the tiredness that we was, we was deeper. But... I, I really, really want to look forward to looking this, look at this game in the second half, really, and, and, and try and see where we went wrong. We've not been beaten this weekend. There's been obviously two points out of two games. That's still a positive going forward. Only uh, the two defeats out of the six games. Are there elements that after today, once you've had a chance to analyse, you'll be looking a little bit more sort of forward and a bit, <laughs> a bit more positively? Yeah, I am. I am. I'm, I'm just honest. I'm, I'm you know, I. I let them know when they do things well, but I, that's three points dropped for me. That's all right, two points. You, you can say that, but it's it's just frustrating times when you do all of the work that we work pre-match or building up to this. Yeah, prob you know, two games in in 48 hours. You probably look back at it, but I, I honestly felt we was we could do better than that as a group, as a unit. Um, we had to call on the squad, but yeah, you're right. Maybe I'm harsh. I'm. It was. It, it could have. You know, the worst thing could have happened. We could have lost the game, um, and then I really, really would have been disappointed and angry. Um, but listen, we'll, we'll look after the boys on Thursday. We'll analyse everything. But um, they're down. They're disappointed. But listen, we'll understand where we're coming from, and, and then we regroup and we go again. I suppose it's nice to touch on the on Joe's goal again. He's chipped in there from midfield, and it was a a beautifully executed goal to, to kind of put us ahead and. We talked to, before the game about going previously going behind and having to come back from games, and it was probably nice to to, to go in ahead. Yeah, you know, we spoke about this about him being a little bit higher today, and he's got that in the locker. Um, I think him and Arge now competitions. I think he's shading it really, if you want my honest opinion, for goal of the season already. But um, yeah, he, he had a, he had a very good half. I think his first half he was exceptional. I think probably could pick him out as probably one of the outstanding players today. Um, but obviously, you know, we'll look after the boys. We'll we're, we're, we're wrap them up and try and get them ready for, for next weekend. I think it's also important to, to say that you still haven't had your full squad. You've spoken about this probably every game before games and things. Still haven't had the best squad that you can pick from. Yeah. But 
someone that came back into the side today, Josh Hill, completed the 90 minutes. Great mm. to have him back again. Yeah, it's good. You know, he, I thought we tired towards the end, but that's natural after being out with, with his injury of what he had. Um, but yeah, no, I thought he was very, very good first half, exceptionally. Um, but, you know, we'll look at that. Finley came in today and done really well. I think he tired, took a bit of a knock as well. But listen, we're, we're better than that. We're better than that second half. And, and they might think I'm hard, but I'm a winner. And I can accept people when they make mistakes if they're working hard for one another and running themselves into the ground. But some people today who really let each other down, I think definitely second half. But listen, we'll get back on the coach, we'll have some food have a beer and, and um, we'll talk as a group on Thursday and make sure we're right for next weekend.